Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. For this week's tips show, we'll take a look at a question I've gotten a few times related to locally syncing databases in DevonThink. Now, because DevonThink can hold just about anything, there may be times when you want to only allow local sync to protect certain documents from being stored in the cloud. This might apply to simple things like your own financial records, which you might not want to be accessible online in case of something like a data breach. It would also apply in situations where your business is such that you need to follow certain rules or laws related to how you handle private information. This is true in the case of medical records here in the United States. We have what's called HIPAA laws that have certain rules on how you are to protect personal medical records. So with that in mind, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a local sync between a Mac and an iOS device, as that is usually the most common use of sync and one of the questions I get the most. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to set that up, and we're going to get started by going over to the Mac. Now inside of DevonThink 3, to set up sync, we need to come up here and go to Preferences. And so inside the Preferences, we want to go over to the Sync tab. There is more than one option to set up for local sync. And so what I'm going to do is go through each of those. The first is Bonjour, and then another one is with WebDAV. So Bonjour, I just want to come over here and click on the Bonjour options. And you see here, all I need to do is enable incoming connections. And so I want to make sure that that's checked because that turns on the Bonjour service. Now with the port, I want to leave that blank because it will automatically set up a port for me. Unless in some cases you may have set up a port that you use already for Bonjour Sync. In most cases, you're not going to touch that. So if you don't know whether you have a port open or not, you just want to leave that blank. Down here, there is a password requirement. So I'm going to put one in. And that's a password that we're going to use over on our iOS device as well. I can also check this box to open databases automatically. I leave that blank because if I'm dealing with anything related to privacy, I don't want anything automatically checked. When I'm done with that, I'm just going to select OK. And once I do that, you see that incoming connections are available for Bonjour right here. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. <laughs> 